Hello everyone, and welcome to my first FIFA 21 video on the channel. And today, I'm going to be discussing my 10 players for the start of FIFA 21. Now, so what I'm going to do is find 10 players I think will be under the price of around 5 to 10k. Like, I want them to be less than that. I want them to be super affordable, so that any squad you build, you can try and get these players in. And I think... There's a few players that aren't being spoken about much that will be really, really good for this. I'm going to try and get at least a player in each sort of relative position, defender, midfield, attack, and goalkeeper. I'm going to try and find those and be like, these are the ones that I think you guys should all be looking at. Um, but yes, I'm going to start off with uh, a player that probably is the most familiar for all of you and the player that is the most talked about of players on this list. But yeah, I'll uh, I'll get to the screen now with his card. Okay, so this is the first player, and I'm sure you're all fully, fully familiar with this guy. And this is Quincy Promes. I think this guy has got to be around that 10k mark. This is probably one of the more expensive cards on this list. He is only an 82 and in the area of so that might drop his price a bit. But he's also probably the most obvious uh, pick as well. He's 5-star skills. Four-star weak foot, which is pretty nice. Uh, he was fantastic in last year's game. I'm sure a lot of you got his one-to-watch card and saw him eventually improve uh, throughout the year once he got his 84 and then eventually uh, a few more upgrades after that. Looking at his attributes or stats, as people like to call them in the uh, FIFA community rather than attributes like we normally do in the FM community, he has a lot of the things you look for in an attacker. He's got great acceleration, great sprint speed, He's agile, decent balance, not crazy balance, but decent. So he might get knocked off the ball a little bit, but with this kind of play, you're hoping with the five-star skills that you're going to be able to avoid people like that. Stamina at 82 is not terrible, but it's it's pretty good. Uh, and yeah, his, his dribbling's just fantastic in general. It's only 83s in the tribute, but with the high agility, uh, acceleration, and skills, that'll feel better than it uh, than it would normally. But yeah, he's the first one. In terms of links, obviously Footbin's very good. I'm using Footbin for all of these. Looking at the types of links that you've got, there's obviously all the icons. But in terms of more common links, Tagliafico is probably one of those ones that you could link in like a 4 one 2 2 or in a 4 triple 2 on that left-hand side. That's a great link. Uh, you've also got Neres. Neres is going to be a fantastic link uh, as well. Anthony, Marlon, lots of, and lots of really, really good links. Um, but yeah, I'm sure I'm sure there'll be plenty of people using this card at the start of the game. And yeah, that's my number one on the list that you should be trying for FIFA 21. Okay, this is my next card on the list. Renato Augusto. Last year, I believe he was a non-rare card. He was. But he got a team of the season. Um, and he has had a pretty decent upgrade, which now makes him a very well-rounded player. No... Face card stats under 71, and he's just pretty well-rounded. And the reason why I say this, um, why I'm picking him, is that there's quite a few good CSL cards this year, and I think this guy, along with Polinio, are going to be two of the like real key players to putting these sides together. Now, why specifically Renato Augusta? Why does he come up as one that I think will be really good? Well, he's got great reactions, good ball control dribbling, and composure. Importantly, composure, I think, is something that's going to be really, really big in this game. Also, something that was in EA's most recent patch, uh, pitch notes was that vision's going to be important and short passing. And he's got 83 vision and 85 short passing. And he's not going to be more than 2 or 3k after, like in the first couple of weeks. He might go up to 5 if people are using him a lot. But I think this guy is a really, really top player to be looking at. And someone I would be, uh, I will be definitely using early on. Now, the main links uh, that I would be looking at, there's obviously the perfect link with Fernando, but that's not who I'm uh, really concerned with. Jonathan Vieira. Now, as of today recording this, he looks like he might get a team of the week. So you might already have 283 to link there together. But Jonathan Vieira's got a very nice card as well, and they could link really, really well together. Other cards that link with him are Bakambu, who I'm sure a lot of you know is a very pacey, decently strong, good finishing striker. You've got Polinio, Oscar, Taliska, Miranda, Teixeira, lots and lots of players in 
this league that are good to link. You've got Jonathan as well, who's a uh, five-star weak foot player. They're all able to be linked. And I think Renato Augusto could be one of those really, really solid players that you guys could be using early on in the game. It's not going to cost you a whole lot. That's easy to get into squads. And it's the one that you've just got to give a go. But yes, that's two midfielders now. Let's go for a different position for the next card. All right, now number three, one that I'm quite excited by with a condition is Clinton Mata, a right back in previous games, 82 pace, 81 physicals, 77 dribbling, 77 defending, 70 passing. Now, the first thing you're gonna notice is the pace. He's a center back, he's quick. You know, that's a big thing to be looking at, but he's only five foot 11. So I would recommend this guy as a three at the back kind of center back. But one of the reasons why I really, really like him, and you know, this is a big, big thing, is that he's got 87 agility, 89 jumping, 94 stamina, 79 acceleration. This guy's going to be a bit of a monster in the air. Getting attached to pacey and agile strikers isn't going to be a problem, and he's going to instantly turn. If someone puts a through ball over the top, this guy's turning. So if they're using a, a Griezmann up front or a Firmino, this guy should have them in his pocket. Now, the big issue with him is links. And you're going to say to me, well, how are you going to get him into a team? Right now, uh, the links that are available as strong links are all of the players from his team. Mignolet is one as a starter goalkeeper. Actually not terrible. And you've also got Diata, if you're playing a three at the back, a 3-5-2. He could be a right midfield link. You've got Vanaken and you've got Vorma. Now, none of those are great. I'll admit, none of those are great. But we haven't had the whole Pro League. We haven't seen uh, any of Genk's players yet. And they've had a couple of really good players. But on the weak links, there is one player that I think you should all keep your eye out on. It's Aureolo Buta. This is sort of a two for one. We haven't seen this guy's attributes yet. But if he's if he's anything like I think he's going to be, you know, at four-star skills, four-star weak foot apparently as well, this guy could be a pretty incredible player to link to him. And, you know, with icon swaps early on, you might be able to link them in that way. Or if they're, you know, you've got a Portuguese player here to link him with, matter, you can put Mignolet in, and then you don't really have to worry, you can put Portuguese players all around him, and it's not that much of an issue. But yeah, uh, Clinton Matter is my number three pick. And that jumping, uh, decent strength, decent aggression, but the agility, the jumping, and the pace are what's going to make this guy a very, very good player. Now, for number four, we're going to go and have a look at my number one pick, goalkeeper. Now, goalkeeper time. Pope. You might be wondering, why Pope? He's an 82, he's in the Premier League, people are probably going to use him anyway, right? You're completely correct. But why are they going to use him? He's six foot seven. He's an eighty-two, and he's very well rounded as a goalkeeper, right? This guy is good. This guy is going to be good. And yes, seventy-nine diving is not amazing. Yes, eighty-one handling isn't amazing. But he's six foot seven. <laughs> Tall goalkeepers are fantastic in this game. This is. Butland off 18 and 19 2.0. This guy's going to be fantastic. I've not got too much to say about him. He's a Premier League English goalkeeper. He's going to be easy to get into teams. But for that first weekend league, I think this guy's going to be quite popular. And if you want to get him in early for those uh, for those early games and maybe even early icon swaps, if you pack him especially, maybe keep hold of him. He could be he could be one that's not expensive. He might be 2k. I think at most, um, he, he might have a meta bump where he goes up to like 3.5, 4k, but other than that, he's going to be relatively cheap. So if you get hold of him early on and you think he'd be useful in the future, especially for Icon Swaps, if there's another English squad, just keep hold of him, don't sell him. He's not going to sell for that much anyway, even if it's 2 or 3k, he's probably worth keeping hold of. But yeah, we're going to look at you know the, the, the wonderful position of Striker next, and I think you guys will, uh, will like this one. So, the next card... One that's been good in previous FIFAs, if we look at his, uh, his generations, he had an 80 rated card last year and a 79 the one before. He's been pretty good for all that time. I don't think that's going to change much this year for Revic. The added thing this year that makes me think it could be quite good is that he's a physical player and I think 
physicals and height and heading are actually going to be a little more important this year from what I've heard from the beta. So Rebic is an early starter striker in the Serie A, along with maybe someone like Osimen or maybe like Correa behind him could be really useful. What I like about him is that his maximum speed of 91 pace is pretty good, but 84 acceleration is not bad. He's got decent ball control and dribbling. His agility and balance are maybe not as high as you'd like, but he's got good shot power. Uh, he's got good aggression, which means he'll try and win things a little more in those sort of shoulder shoulder situations. He won't get knocked off the ball very much ever. Really, he's one of those players. But if you look at the links, on the strong links, there are some really, really interesting players that you can link him with as well. You've obviously uh, got Brozovic, you've got Zlatan, uh, you've got Hernandez as well. I quite like, you know, I like that you've got Kessie there, you've got Tenali, you've got Paqueta, some of these lower rated ones for early on in the game. I think for the first couple of weeks of the game, this guy could be fantastic. Uh, and if AC or any any sides in, in the Serie A get some informs, could be an easy one to link there as well. He's not the craziest card in the world. He's not the craziest card in the world. But for those first couple of weeks, this guy will bang goals for you. And you you'll probably, you might find that he's a bit frustrating on the turn occasionally. But one on one with the goalkeeper with that shot power, finishing, ball control, you know, I think he's going to be a good one. Okay, another attacker, uh, Simone Verdi. Why have I picked this guy? Because on this card, he's not the craziest. 82 pace is good, 82 dribbling is nice, 78 passing is pretty nice too. But the main reason this guy is really, really good to me five star weak foot, four star skill moves. That is going to be fantastic with 89 agility, 90 balance, 83 ball control, 81 dribbling. He's got 84 curve. He's got p pretty poor shooting, right? And not great shot power, but you could play this guy out wide. He's a 79 rated winger, right? He, you can play him in camp. His vision's not bad. His passing's not bad. I think this guy's going to be a thousand coins, right? He's going to be a thousand coins. You can link him with any Serie A or Italian player. Look at all them perfect links he's got already. You've got Balotti in there. And if we're to be, uh, if we're to believe the rumours that Heading's back, him and Balotti could be a good front too. With strong links, you've obviously got all the icons. We don't really care about those. But you've got, you know, you've got some pretty decent players to link him up with. Politano, Lazari, Barella, Bernadeschi. Up front, you can maybe even try Balotelli. Who knows, right? You've got Berardi that can link to him. Pellegrini. Uh, Chiesa is another one that's going to be really cheap that could link with him. I think Verdi could be really good. I really like these. Um, he was a left midfielder card last year, wasn't he? Yeah, left midfielder card. He was an 80 rated left midfielder. I really like that card last year. I think this one's going to be even better uh, for this year's meta. I think that that high agility and the pace is going to be really good. Yes, 43 strength is terrible. But if you can knock the ball past someone, if you can dribble in between someone, maybe using... You know, I think a lot of people are going to use Jesus Navas at right back this year, who's got horrendous physicals. This guy will tear him to shreds. I just think that this could be really, a really, really good card that's incredibly cheap that you're not going to have to worry about too much. But yeah, let's take a look at another card. So, right, card number seven here is Hussein Kamara. Now, there's obviously a couple of caveats with this card. We don't know his attributes or stats yet. We think he's three star, three star. That could be wrong, I guess. But this is what we have to go off so far. He's short, but he's quick. Decent dribbling. Physical's very high. So I imagine he's got very, very high stamina. Maybe even decent jumping. Hopefully at least like 68 strength would be nice on him. But he's got quite high dribbling. So that leads me to believe that this guy's going to be nice on the ball. High, high work rate is an interesting one, which might put some people off. But for me, I kind of like that. I kind of like the, the hard-working, up-and-down kind of player. But yeah, this is my number seven. And hopefully this guy will be someone you guys consider for your teams. Okay, this is number eight. And this is a card I like quite a lot. Uh, Machis. Or is it Machis? I'm going to just go Machis, would be my guess. Um... This guy is a five foot nine, four star, four star left winger from La Liga, with ninety one agility, ninety three balance, eighty eight acceleration, and he's got pretty good shooting stats for a card of this rating. This is going to be a one point five k card, I think, at the start, maybe even less. Um, but yeah, he's got even got decent jumping, right? Like he's going to be one of those players that just works 
for you. And this is a player that you can upgrade really easily, right? You can put him in your side and save up and get yourself a Dembele and get those, you know, those higher rated players in there instead of him. But I think this guy, this guy will do more work for you than like an Asensio or an Ayathabal or someone like that. I think this guy will just, he'll just do more for you. He's got that pace. He's got the ability to get round a man. I love the agility and balance combo, so he's going to be a little bit stocky and hard to get off the ball. High attacking, medium defending work rate's pretty nice too. I just think this guy's going to be great. If we look at the links uh, for him, strong link-wise, his teammates aren't amazing. <laughs> There's no one there that's going to make you go, yes, he's who I'm going to link him with. But he's a La Liga player. You'll put him in a La Liga side, and you've got so many options to link him with that I don't think it's going to be that much of, a, of, a, of an issue. Personally, I think this uh, this guy's going to be fantastic for you, uh, no matter what, basically. I just think he's a, he's a perfect kind of player. So, we've got two more cards left. Let me show you who I think are going to be really, really fun. Okay, the penultimate card on my list is Jonathan Ikone. A lot of you will know this guy. He's one of those players that last year had a, had a really good uh, Future Stars card. I really like this guy as a right mid. The who's got one problem, and that's three star weak foot. Everything else, else I think is fantastic. Acceleration, agility, balance, dribbling, got good vision, so he's gonna be able to do those through balls like EA have said in the patch. He's got good sprint speed and the rest is well rounded. He's not gonna score loads of goals. But he's not gonna be in your team to do that, I think. I don't think he's gonna be that. I think he's gonna be someone who you're looking to link with. To someone like a Ben Yedda. If we look at some of his links, you've got Bamber on the other side, who's a great link. But if we look at uh, at strong links within the league, you've obviously you've got Yedda, you've got Dembele, you've got Awa if he doesn't move, you've got Kenny Lala to put behind him. You know, there's lots and lots of good players that you can link this guy to, and he's an upgradable player again. He's French. You know, there's so many good options, and I think this guy's going to be a perfect player for your starter teams. And yeah, let's get to the final card. And this is one that I'm looking forward to using personally, and I hope you guys will find this card as interesting as I do. All right, here is my final card, and this is one I think a lot of you will see in squads early on, but this is a player that I wish I had at the start of the season last year. His card last year wasn't quite this level. His inform probably was, but it didn't come right at the start so we couldn't use him straight away the reason why i really like this guy is that he's immaculately well-rounded for that slightly attacking player in a 4-2-3-1 if you want a dm that's going to be able to carry the ball forward create that pass maybe now this year put that cross in this is your guy four star weak foot three star skill moves he's five foot ten he hasn't got great jumping he hasn't got great strength hasn't got great aggression but he has got amazing dribbling, amazing passing, decent enough pace, and decent enough shooting. And the one super important thing for this guy is probably these perfect links. You can get him into a squad very, very easily. And if you look at his strong links as well, you've got Hernandez, you've got Komen, you've got Diaby, Taliso, you know, Turam. Like, there's so many good players that this guy perfect are strong links to. Weak links, you've obviously got the rest of the Bundesliga. Any French player, this guy's going to be in everyone's everyone's French or Bundesliga teams, but I think he was worth pointing out, even in this list of players you might not know or players who, you know, you, you might want to use. I think this is going to be... This is in my top 10. This guy might be my first team. This guy could be 4K. He could be 4K just because of how he links, but I don't think he'll be more than 10K at all at any point. But yeah. You've got to look at this guy. And if he gets an inform, he's going to have a nice inform straight away. Could be right up into that plus 70s everywhere kind of card instantly. But yeah, that's the end of my list. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to come with you with some position lists, my top five goalkeepers, top five right backs, left backs, whatever the entire thing. We're going to go through and find the best ones of those for before pre release. But yes, thank you all for watching. I've been Jake on Aberrant FC. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you all again next time.